สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ Good afternoon Welcome to Health Dialogue by BDMS I'm Ying Nantawan the moderator of today and we are here today with Dr. Tawini Chiwat Maitriwong she is neurologist of Bangkok Hospital Phuket Welcome Dr. สวัสดีค่ะ Uh, I have to say she looks so young, but don't worry. She's very experienced and also qualifying. And she is the neurologist of Bangkok Hospital Bukit, working here with us in uh, uh, the second floor, on the second floor above the lobby. Okay, that is the neuro, neurology center, right? Yes. Okay. So, uh, Dr. Tawini, welcome to our program today. We are here with our expats mm -hmm. who are living on Phuket Island. We have many friends, many audience who are uh, keep coming or listening, uh, watching our program. So, uh, so about the about the topic today that uh, we talk about, know the fact about stroke. Let me ask you, why do you select this topic? Yes, because stroke, it happening suddenly and have no warning sign, without the warning sign. And also stroke mm -hmm. is the most, uh, cause of death and the most cause of disability in Thailand. Oh. Yes, and oh. also is the number five cause of death and disability in United States. Oh, so number five in United States, but yes. in Thailand is number, number one. one. Yes, the number one. Oh. In the, in the last five year, yes, we okay. have a lizard that uh, stroke happened more than 30,000 mm -hmm. people in Thailand in one year. Oh, 30,000 per year, 30,000 people pass away uh, by stroke every year. Yes. So the, 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 the past five years, she just said that, that means average 100 people a day. Yeah. Wow, it's so dangerous. And this is only the number of those who pass away, but disability, we will not talk about the number, but uh, can can you then please share with us what is stroke? Okay. Because I think it's very important to to get information, and then we can take care of ourselves if we can, if we still can. Mm -hmm. Listen carefully, and maybe we also have to observe our loved one. Okay. Yes, to protect ourselves if okay. possible. Go to the slide one. Okay, uh -huh. first you should know the what the stroke mean. Stroke mm -hmm. is maybe sometimes called a brain attack that happen in one in two year for two ways. One is ischemic stroke. That means the blood supply to the brain is what is blocked. Mm. And another hand is called hemorrhagic stroke. Mm -hmm. That means blood vessel in the brain is burned. Okay. One is mean block. Yes. That that means the blood circulation cannot go into the brain, cannot yes. support uh -huh. some part of the brain. Yes. Uh -huh. And the other one is births. That means export. Yes. Ah, okay. But today we will concentrate in ischemic stroke. That means which one? Oh, the first one. The first one. So we will we will talk about how to how to help and support or prevent the blockage. Yes. Okay. So at least we know today. Uh -huh. one way of protecting ourselves uh -huh. but i'm sure i will invite doctor again to clear more other topic but let's continue then so um you say that uh, you want you want to explain about the fact about the stroke so you talk about the blockage right yes. you will talk about the blockage then how is this kind of disease how it's happened how to identify and how to spot the stroke Mm -hmm. First, when the stroke is happen without blood and supply to your brain, the brain will damage and the body that control by the brain, that brain will uh, not work properly and make a disability. So, mm. without the warning sign, so it is important for you and your family to know the symptom of the stroke. Okay. If the blood supply don't go to some part of the brain, maybe that part and that part, but that that area will control our body, right? Some part of the body. Yes. So that means if it's not go there, so that that brain mm -hmm. uh, control something. Like, can you can you explain a little bit? For example, if it don't go to that spot, then we will get the weakness mm -hmm. kind of. 
Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hi, scary. Yes, it, it, it's <laughs> weird to to know the or remember or recognize the symptom of the stroke. We have the acronym as BFAST. Mm. Okay. Okay. Go it's to like the abbreviation BFAST. BFAST. Okay. So it's not just just the word, but there is a meaning mm -hmm. of each alphabet. Yeah. Uh -huh. B first is B is mm -hmm. meaning about balance. Mm -hmm. You may experience okay. loss of balance, loss of coordination, mm -hmm. or you will feel dizziness or vertigo. Okay, not not because of alcohol. I mean, <laughs> not after the party. Yes. But anyway, if you are home, sit a relax or working or mm -hmm. or go doing something maybe in your garden, and you feel like loss of your balance and maybe headaches, yeah. severe headache, or lose control. Yes. Yeah, maybe one spot of stroke, right? Yes. Okay. Especially when it happens suddenly. Ah, uh, okay. Not because of your weak, you're tired from last night, kind of, but it just happened. Yes. So we have to focus. Yes. Okay. Next E is mean eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, eyes may, you may experience blur vision, uh -huh. double vision, or you cannot see one side of your body. So it right side or just only left side? Ah, okay. So I think, hmm, maybe hard to to maybe observe. maybe we need we need more <laughs> we need more spot. Yes. Okay. Maybe to, you to see the warning sign. Yes. Uh -huh. Maybe you experience that you cannot read the book normally. You mm. cannot read the book on the right side ah okay uh -huh. so maybe we we have that kind of problem okay. yes you can may you can have to turn your head to the to see that ah, side okay mm -hmm. okay or you maybe cannot walk normally because you are walk like like um cannot see on your ah, right side okay, so okay. maybe tap on something or okay so misstep kind of uh -huh. or so i mean when we uh, when we listen until the last alphabet maybe i think we, we can sum summarize that mm -hmm. okay the first one is balance you have to observe if this happened to you uh without like like senseless by the way happen and walking around and just lost your balance or your eyesight you have blur vision mm -hmm. okay and the third one is f minute fred a face. You're afraid you will drooping. Ah. That your family member can see that you cannot smile normally. Ah. Yes. I, I heard about this. Someone said in the morning you should smile, you should look at the mirror uh -huh. and check yourself. I mean, maybe not 100% balanced by uh, everyone. Maybe mm -hmm. the other side, the right side is a little bit lower than the left side. But you know that that is you. But one day if it's changed and it's look totally different. Or when you smile and it didn't lift up both sides, maybe that yes. is that sign, right? Yeah. Okay. And next is A. A means arm. Mm -hmm. You may experience arm or your legs weakness just on one side. Mm. Mm -hmm. But if it's both sides? No. So Only not, yeah. It's normally if it's part of stroke yes. the, uh, symptom, it should be only one side. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or maybe you experience the numbness or mm. tightness on the one side. Mm, 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 mm. I think this 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 one is not include those who who feel like you lay on one side too long or you use one side too long. But you should know that if your activity not lead you to that kind of problem, then you will observe yourself or yes. ask someone else to help and assist or just come into the hospital and have the check done. Yes. Okay. And then it's S means speed difficulty. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I don't have this problem. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, have to control. Okay. <laughs> uh, slow down. <laughs> that means you may uh, experience that you are trying to speak, ah. but the coming out is not normally. Is that because we cannot get the word or yes. it's cannot co we cannot control the the, the, the tongue the tongue or the lips yeah the tongue you ah, can turn out the tongue ah uh, maybe one side is the the tongue is just like this 
maybe one side is weak. Weakness. Wow. Uh huh. Wow. And another is you may your family may experience that the peop the people that get mm -hmm. the stroke not respond you normally. Respond mean answer or oh, yes ah. or do anything. I uh, cannot understand what the family member is saying. Mm. Mm. Oh, that include in the speech one. Okay. Yes. Okay. The reaction, like when you want to say something, you cannot say what you want. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that you forget the word, but the way to pronounce the word, right? Mm -hmm. ah, okay, understand. Mm -hmm. Got you. And finally, T. T mm -hmm. it means time that is really important. Is mm -hmm. the most important because time is is brains. Now it's time is brains ah. because it we have a golden period treatment of store. Yes. So so for for other people may think time is money, like for <laughs> businessmen. But for our neurologist, time, time is, is the brain. brain. Yeah, the shorter period of time that you come to see doctor. Mm -hmm. I mean, the the percentage of healing yeah. is better. Yeah. Okay, it's higher. So if you or your family member got the symptom abroad, yes, mm -hmm. call emergency. Okay, call you mean you mean uh, the B fast? Yes. Okay, can I summary again? Uh, the B fast. Okay, that means we observe. Maybe everything not happen in one day, or it should happen in one day at least two or three things. Can you say that? Yes. Um. So. If I only lost my balance and I difficult, uh, I have difficulty to talk. That can be uh, that can be stroke. Yes. Okay. Or even one thing. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so, so it it's it's not like it sounds it sounds scary, but um, how can how can we you you say at the time, if I'm living very far away from 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 Bangkok Hospital Phuket, mm -hmm. how soon I have to be here? uh within four and a half hour after the onset of stroke okay if i have that that kind of symptom yes four and a half hour yeah. i should be here and get yeah. the treatment done yes. or the faster is the better yes okay so ladies and gentlemen i think everywhere on this island you can reach our hospital by the longest time is one hour i think yes, yes the longest time mm -hmm. so one hour but if you are out of the island I still can manage. I mean, um, I used to have the program with the uh, ambulance service. Mm -hmm. So you can call us at 1719. That is our hotline number. And I, we just explained that you you want to talk about, should we say mention stroke? Yes. And then it's, it'll get fast track yes. to, to our staff who will get the information from you and send the ambulance to your place. Uh, and let me share the information if you used to be our patient and you spot like you're the patient of dr tawini or the patient of neurology center uh, or even other mm -hmm. station mm -hmm. uh, your your house your address will be spot on our map so mm -hmm. it's not difficult for us to find your place and get you on time into the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you change your address, please also let us know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I think uh, that kind of stuff we can manage if, if you call us 1719, put the bigger number on wherever you, or maybe the, the emergency number on your mobile phone or even for your maid, for your loved one on the refrigerator as we have done that for a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. If you are here within four and a half hours, so the percentage will be uh, better and we can help and save mm -hmm. your life, okay? Okay, then um, let's, let's uh, go to the next slide then. Uh, you have mentioned how to identify or diagnose. Then once when the patient come into the hospital, mm -hmm. or let's say um, if he call like 10 o'clock and he arrive here by 11 or short after 11 o'clock, so what is the, the process that will happen in our hospital? Okay, mm -hmm. the first emergency doctor mm -hmm. will ask you for your medical history and do physical examination. Mm -hmm. And then that uh, emergency doctor suspect that you get the stroke, mm -hmm. he or she will order you to do the CT scan or MRI brain. Okay, 
But for this kind of thing, a medical history, if you are our patient, you will be in our record and all the information will be there. But anyway, when doctor interview you or ask you the question, that means uh, doctor want to check, it's part of the physical examination mm -hmm. to see the way how you answer, how you react, and he or she will also see the way that you talk, the way that you pronounce the mm -hmm. words, okay? And for this case, also, if you have someone at home, they can hop into the, the ambulance and come along with you and can help us to answer the question. And let's say, I'm sure that the physical examination doctor will do uh, perfectly uh, and in a short period of time and express. But how about the CT and MRI? Mm -hmm. CT scan and MRI can do in mm -hmm. a lot of hospitals, uh, a lot of another hospitals, uh, uh -huh. but in our hospital, uh -huh. we can do MRI for fat tank. MRI, normally I know that it's 45 minutes to one hour. Yes, but uh -huh. for You our, said fast track. Yes, ah. we can finish the MRI within 20 minutes. Ah, oh, speedy one. Yes. Okay, this is a special uh, kind of uh, te technology yeah. to, to help and save life of those who got stroke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Understand that only 20 minutes after that, our uh, radiologist and our neurologist, our doctor who concerned will come and and conclude and diagnose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you say that in our hospital we can do that. So yes. it's 24 hours. Yes. Okay, and she lives nearby. Don't worry. We also have <laughs> a standby doctor yeah. in each specialist. We have uh, every day. I know that uh, we have a specialist standby. Yes. Okay. And some of them even sleep in our emergency room. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, and how about CT? Do we need to do CT? And how about if, if uh, only CT is that enough? Uh, it's not enough if you got a stroke in a, uh, in a lesion is really really small lesion mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. this lesion is stay in the brain stem. Ah. Okay. So with MRI, we can see better, including yeah. the circulation. Yes. Ah, okay. So CT is like still picture, right? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, and um, the treatment after that, okay, after the diagnosis and the patient has to be admitted. Yeah. So how is the process where the patient has to be? Uh, for if you mm -hmm. come to the hospital within four and a half hour after the onset of stroke, mm -hmm. the doctor will have a chance to use the medication named is T RTPA to uh -huh. release the blood clot and may give a more a good or um, better recovery of blood stroke. So mm -hmm. if you give an RTPA, you will admit it to ICU room. Ah, okay, intensive care unit. So that means uh, once when the patient uh, who got stroke came into the hospital, mm -hmm. this will be kind of multidisciplined. Uh, many specialists will take care of even one patient. So as I see, arrive at the emergency area, mm -hmm. fast track, go to MRI, everything is in the house. So we don't have to send you other places, yes. but you are here and you will be like, even two or three minutes to, to the MRI room. It's not far from emergency room. And after that, if a treatment must be done and admitted, everything are in the house. Uh -huh. And we also have specialists who are concerned, right? Yes. And how normally, if you take care of a stroke patient, do you have to coordinate with other specialists? Yes, we call it with a cardiologist mm. mm -hmm. to do the EKG, mm. do the echo cardiogram, and also mm. holder for 48 hours. Ah, the holder? Yes. Ah, 48 hours to two, like two day, two nights. Yes. Ah, to, to observe see. the heart. Yeah, yes. Also, ah. the heart that you have a leak mirror to that is the cause of stroke or not. Mm -hmm. Or it's a leak mirror can also happen after the stroke. Also. Or, ah, okay. So it's, 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 I say it's a big deal, but yes. we can deal with it, even it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the team is ready. And uh, to be admitted, it also depends how many days, depend uh -huh. on the condition, right? If you have no 
complication after the stove, maybe mm -hmm. at least three days mm -hmm. mm -hmm, for IV for it. Mm -hmm. Start aspirin and maybe rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So aspirin, someone allergic to aspirin, oh, but we also have another choice, right? Yes, like uh, Pitao or uh, Corpidogel. Ah, uh, okay. We have everything in the house. Thank God. Yes. <laughs> okay. And you said on the your slide also speech and physical therapy. Yes. We I mean, after stroke happen, mm -hmm. maybe what kind of uh, condition can be or can happen, and we need the the physiotherapist. Therapy. Yes. Like, right. Uh, if, exercise. Uh huh. Uh huh. And also like. Talking, talking, yes. Talking, Eating, swallowing, exercise okay. by occupational therapist and physical therapist. therapist also. Okay, so that means if you if you are here, I hope you are not my patient, please. But uh, the way to explain, if the stroke patient is here after the first treatment and the condition is stable mm -hmm. or healed, then after after action, you still have another process like um take uh the occupational therapist mm -hmm. from our uh, rehabilitation center. center okay maybe you have seen or have visited this place but inside we have many specialists occupational take care of like speech yes uh drinking mm -hmm. swallowing even some kind of maybe you you cannot imagine people who cannot swallow water cannot swallow food and and that must be practiced but that mm -hmm. can bring back yes yeah maybe not 100 percent, but it can be better yes. okay with, with the assistant of occupational therapist and physiotherapist mm -hmm. uh physiotherapist is those who help with other function right yes. of the body okay. Okay. okay and also we use a tms or tan canyon magnetic stimulation Tancanial magnetic stimulation. That's okay. not an invasive tool to uh, improve your muscles thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that to improve muscle strength. I mean, besides our therapist help and assist. Yes. Uh huh. And that will be help. Uh, and 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 I think will be better and faster yes. for the recovery. Yes, because this tool will. Uh, stimulate the brain mm -hmm. function mm -hmm. by magnetic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. and will stimulate the neuron that maybe die before before because of the stroke yes and being is back oh, oh okay mm -hmm. uh, as I said nothing is 100% but if you hear this word bring back some part that already ignore to work mm -hmm. and bring it back and come back to function again mm -hmm. that is such a good news if we um is it only the the tms that you said this kind of magnetic uh, treatment and bring back the brain part that uh, stop function but bring it back is it also available or be able to help other disease um, it sounds maybe, very good maybe in depression and maybe for the office window Huh? Muscle pain from it, office syndrome. Office also. syndrome. Yes. So that, um, that means if we have office syndrome problem, mm -hmm. we come here to the hospital and see our uh, joint and spine center. <laughs> we also can come to New your logic. center yes. to use this yes. kind of service. Yeah, okay. to release your pain. Do you have the name in Thai? How to call that machine? Mm, in Thai? Yes. No, it's we just say TMS. 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 Yes. So, TMS is the name. So, yes. uh, special diagnosis. Oh, this is the machine. Yes, this okay. is the machine. Um, we, will, we will use the hair dryer, right? Okay. Tool this is not a band. picture from hairdresser, please, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is the TMS that you mean. This is the picture of the, the same things uh, we have in, in Bangkok Hospital Phuket. Yes. Okay. And how long do we have to use this machine? I mean, how long per time and how many times? How mm -hmm. often have we do, do we have to use it? We use the team it with uh, about three times a week mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and maybe about 30 minutes for one time. Three times a week. Yes. And 30 minutes per, per time. Yeah, yes. per visit. Um, I mean, 
visit the machine 30 minutes but when you come into the hospital it doesn't mean that you will spend only 30 minutes with us <laughs> please okay understand that that is only that process to use the tms mm -hmm. at uh bangkok hospital phuket on the second floor at the neurology center if you come into the hospital register or main appointment mm -hmm. see our uh our uh, registration uh, staff downstairs and just come by escalator to the second floor to left is a neurology center to yes. right is a heart center okay and make an appointment and uh, so 30 minutes and oh three times you said that so do you also have like package or we have to consult with the doctor first and see how how many times we have to do it right yes I think to visit the doctor first. Okay, see the doctor and doctor will suggest. And of course, with that kind of machine, I think first time, maybe first round, we have the set or the cost, uh, like maybe two weeks or three weeks time. And after mm -hmm. that, we have to see the result and redesign again, how many yes. times and how often do you, do you have to come, okay? Mm -hmm. So whatever it is, but until the end of this year, 31st of December, we have many promotion. So, um, uh, can I ask you, do you have anything or any, any uh, way to, to prevent mm -hmm. this stroke? Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I would like to, to, to know. I think I'm a risky person in every disease, but I, I would love to know. Maybe mm -hmm. someone who knows, then they can protect themselves, can re- design their activity. Mm -hmm. okay. For us, there are some lead factors for the stroke that you cannot change at an older age or family history or right? genetic disease that can okay. make the stroke. But almost 80% mm -hmm. can be prevented. 80% can be prevented. I mean, only 20%. If you yes. are now 50 years old, sir, madam, you're 50 years old. <laughs> you cannot change that yes. and also the family the parents and the family history the mm -hmm. disease that happened in the family history mm -hmm. that you cannot change it's already happened so 20 percent, but 80 percent, we still have hope mm -hmm. so please share with us for us it is a healthy diet healthy diet yes popular word <laughs> Chanel is the variety of fruit or variety of vegetable mm. or you choose to show the fruit that low in salt low in times fat or in low in saturation fat and also low in sugar low fat low sugar raw salt raw, low salt mm. Mm -hmm. okay and eat a lot of fruit and fruit vegetable and vegetable yes vegetarian or uh, oh but not oily vegetarian okay <laughs> okay and then is maintain a healthy weight but i think good good beef good good meat also help oh, or yeah. fish or seafood but maybe fish yes. okay and maintain a healthy, healthy weight weight yeah okay this is not a secret everywhere you can find information so we mm -hmm. will not mention here uh since she is very polite she doesn't mention the healthy word on her slide <laughs> but i know that i have to take care of it uh -huh. okay and, and what does it mean physically active yes you have to do the regular exercise ah, okay uh -huh. at least three times a week ah, uh, at least uh 30 and for two for minutes for okay. time, time you know what number one two three i heard about that <laughs> every every week every time we are here mm -hmm. okay so i think if you have time if you still have time to uh see surfing the internet or we have to cut that time to share with this kind of physically active activity yes. to yes. be healthy to have a, a standard weight and also consume the healthy diet yes okay and sometimes when we use our internet or our computer or mobile phone, phone we see a lot of unhealthy yes. unhealthy food yeah. and easy to order yeah, yes <laughs> okay okay and then don't smoke and avoid skin hand smoke yes, okay because of a uh, chemical in the cigarette can damage your vessel mm. along the body uh, and also smoke uh it just, can uh, the smoke cannot mm. relieve the oxygen to your veins okay mm -hmm. so our brain need 
actually blood circulation yes. will bring oxygen yes. to to support the brain. So that means if you smoke or someone next to you smoke, mm -hmm. then it will also cause of oxygen in the blood vessel and less oxygen in your brain. Mm -hmm. So oxygen is very important. Yes. No oxygen, no brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay and then it's limit alcohol use okay like uh, one ding for men and two ding for women oh we allowed to have two ding two drinks yes why why we have we allowed to drink more than um <laughs> this is the only good news i have today mm -hmm. <laughs> okay and then finally is Prevent and manage your other health condition, like hypertension, diabetic mellitus, or dyslipidemia and cardiovascular disease. Okay, so so we get back to uh, what we always say in our health dialogue. Mm -hmm. Thank you, our doctor, that she come and mention it again. You know, we always talk about uh, annual checkup, and also we we would like you to come in. Doesn't mean that we want to earn or get money. You know. To get the money from from um, checkup program, it's we want you to be healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to talk with a customer, a patient. He doesn't like to come in, even he has everyday high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. He said that his blood pressure every time is uh, uh, between 150 to 170. Mm -hmm. uh, I I invite him to come in. He said. Oh, you want to get money? You want to get um, kind of, uh, you know, that expenses to pay for the medication will not make us rich. But if we worry about the the the, the that kind of damage that may happen, like stroke mm -hmm. or what else, if hypertension, there are many kind of disease that can happen and cost you a lot of money to mm -hmm. consume to take one tablet a day after consult with a doctor and manage your blood pressure, manage your sugar level, manage your body temp. I mean, everything. If it's under control, it will be okay. Yes. Uh -huh. and, and that you also can enjoy life. Yes. Yeah. I think hypertension is not like a bomb in your body. If you take medication and like come in and follow up, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So, and, and Many diseases that uh, if we come to check, everything if we detect it earlier, yes. uh, the cost of the, the treatment is cheaper. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to be admitted. Yes. You save a lot of money. Yes. Yeah. And, and you save quality of your life. That that is very important. Yes. Living on Phuket Island, such a beautiful place. Yeah. And uh, we also have the promotion. Let me let me share because the promotion. I, I visit your center and I mm -hmm. heard that every promotion will end the 31st of December, like this one, the neuro, mm -hmm. can you please explain, imaging, imaging study ah. check up. Why, why study check up? I mean, oh, the price is like much cheaper from mm -hmm. 12 to 10, from 15 to 12,000, from 20 to 14,000, from 23 to 18,000 kind of, okay. And this promotion, please, if you want to get this price uh, until the end of this month, you please call 1719 or, or make a reservation with, with Neurology Center or mm -hmm. Contract Center. But next year, next price, new price, I don't know, I cannot promise. Okay, mm -hmm. and I, I have another promotion too, but it cannot be shown, but I will share a little bit for a uh, stroke screening program, stroke screening program from uh, stroke one and stroke two, from 20, from 30,000 down to 24,000, mm -hmm. okay? But if you visit our uh, Facebook page or our website, uh, like phukethospital.com or visit our Facebook here, uh, Bangkok Hospital Phuket Facebook, you also can see this promotion mm -hmm. or just send a message or send us the question. The, uh, oh, the question is, what is the approximate cost for stroke treatment? Oh, it had to say that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. because uh, when you come with the agnol as stroke, mm -hmm. we had to call ordinary okay. with another department mm -hmm. like a cardiologist rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So, and also if you stay too long in hospital and get complication like an infection 
Hmm. Or okay. Maybe so, have a higher cord. Okay. Um. Uh, let let me share. For example, we we we've been discuss about how to prevent and uh, how to manage and how to monitor. And please, we can also tell you the price of like, the screening. Mm -hmm. But the price of treatment is depend how severe it is. Yes. Yeah, because some may 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 the condition may, may not very serious. You come in and it can be treated within half an hour, one hour. Or if you have kind of severe condition, and when you come in a little bit late, so the process of treatment is a little bit more complicated. Yes. Then, exactly, it costs more. Okay, so um, I think it's better if we can do the check and protect yeah. uh, and prevent change kind of activity. I think if you know a little bit about your condition, I think it's better than because so many people don't want to change anything. But once when you see the number of your <laughs> your blood pressure, your cholesterol, your cholesterol sugar also. Ah, okay. <laughs> so the screening stroke screening program is also a special price until the end of this year, and also um, dementia screening program. Dementia, uh, dementia mean. Memory loss. Memory loss. Okay. I'll tell you now. The promotion is until 31st of December. If you forget it, please come and check. <laughs> okay. Screening program from 45 to down to 30, uh, 33,000. And what else we have here? Oh, we already talked about it. Okay. And okay. And the last one, I think this is a special the special one. Is it concerned stroke too? The, yes. The home sleep test, because we have sleep tests in our hospital mm -hmm. that you have to be here in, in our hospital and do the sleep test overnight, uh, uh, observe with the machine, complete one with the technician, observe you and record and everything will be like evident beds. But this one is home sleep test. Yes. Is it help? I mean, is it concerns uh, stroke patient too? Uh, it's maybe not too related to the stroke patient, mm -hmm. but if you know have a sleep quality, mm. it will damage your vessel too. Ah, so okay. it's one day it may lead to the stroke also. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So the sleep test, if you're worried that you don't want to come and you don't want to sleep into the hospital, in the hospital, I mean, uh, this is the other option that you can also have the, the sleep test the home sleep test one. The price normally it's uh, 2,900 baht, but now until the end of this year, it's only 999, 9,999 baht. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's easy to remember. So contact 1719 Bangkok Hospital Phuket or visit our website, make a reservation or book, book it and come into the hospital. Mm -hmm. I think doctor, you help us a lot to create. And I think especially that page that you say prevention, we have to concern. You don't have to be her customer. If you can stay and do it well on mm -hmm. that, that that's like prevention. Yes. Okay. Then we just uh, can see you somewhere on the beach, but don't have to see <laughs> you in the hospital. Okay. So all the promotion offer until the end of this year or end of this month. Please contact Bangkok Hospital Phuket or visit our website, worldwide web, uh, PhuketHospital.com. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Tawini, today, our neurologist. And I hope I will see you again because we still have other topics that we can talk about. Mm -hmm. And thanks for your time yeah. and sharing with us. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you, all the audience, and uh, for your question. I think you can send it to us again, and we will uh, try to get back to you and answer all questions you may have. Have a nice weekend, and see you again next year. Thank you. Bye-bye. สวัสดีค่ะ